Hello fellow modelers, Bruce here. Thought it was time to do an update on the rebuild of the double deck layout downstairs, the Jersey Highlands Railroad and the Slate Run Railroad. Um, this update will focus mostly on the backdrop, but I'll also show you general progress uh, as to where we are. Um, because it's been a little while and I've done a little work, so let's get on with it then. Well, I'm getting ready to uh, give the masonite that I'm using for my backdrop a first coat of paint. And I don't know whether it's my imagination or not, but I think the masonite that I'm getting today is a bit shinier, a little glossier on the uh, finished side than what I've used in the past. And uh, I want to make sure that the paint will adhere uh, to the masonite. And so I'm giving it a quick uh, sanding with uh, some number 150 grit sandpaper. Once I'm uh, done giving it a quick sanding, then I'll dust it down good and uh, then give it a first coat of uh, sky blue paint. off. I might go over it with a damp rag before I paint it. <coughs> and let's just look here. Yeah, compared, I don't know if you can see it, but compared to this one here, it does look a little less shiny. And so we'll give it a go like that and see if the paint will adhere good and uh, get moving on this backdrop. Once I get all the sections uh, of the backdrop painted, uh, I'll come back and do an update on the layout. Talk to you soon. Okay, uh, about an hour later, I got the first coat of paint on the uh, backdrop boards for the lower level. They're a little bit uh, narrower than the upper level will be. Um, good news was that with the sanding, the paint went on to the uh, shiny side of the masonite with no problem. Um, it's almost dry now. I'll take a look when it's totally dry and determine whether it needs a second coat. Um, any other work on it, like clouds, if I decide to do it and so forth, I can do once the uh, boards are mounted. Uh, the color I'm using here is uh, in the uh, Pittsburgh paint Glidden line from uh, Home Depot. It's called Everlasting and the uh, number on it is uh, PPG 1161-3. I think it gives a good sky blue. So we'll see. Like I say, I'll let it dry good overnight and tomorrow if it needs a second coat I'll do it and then I'll do the uh, the boards for the upper level of the layout. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, time for a quick update on where we are on uh, assembling my new layout. Um, you can see that I have painted the uh, masonite for the backdrop and uh, I've completed some lighting and some wiring that I'll go into in a minute. And uh, I'm just getting ready now to permanently install the, the backdrop pieces. And, uh, but before I do that, I have to disassemble some stuff that I'll go into in a minute. But let's uh, just take a look at that lighting and uh, some of the wiring. And uh, we'll go from there. That we have the three 
separate units that are mounted and you can see the wiring going between them. They daisy chain together. This is a uh, and they're LED and they have two different uh, They'll give you a soft light or a, a bright light, but uh, I'll probably be using them on the bright light the whole time. At any rate, uh, these are uh, proprietary to Home Depot. And uh, let me just look, show you a little bit what they are. So I got up there two 24 inchers and an 18 incher. They come in, I think, 12, 18, 24. And uh, the product number is up there. It's uh, 1005396892. And uh, they, as I say, they daisy chain together, and you can put quite a number of them plugged together, um, more than 10. So, you know, instead of having each one with a separate power cord, uh, as I mount them under that upper deck, all I have to do is uh, bring one power cord down, uh, and the rest of them can, can be daisy chained together. Um, the other wiring that I've done is, of course, there's no problem with wiring on this lower deck. The wiring on the upper deck has to be threaded behind the backdrop. And if you look up here, you can see that I have a couple power distribution panels up there. Um, one set is for lighting and accessories, and one set is for trackage. And I brought up a couple of extra wires just in case I'm going to need them, because it's a lot easier to do that now then uh, once you start putting things together. Uh, let me show you, of course, because I want to bring that wire behind this backdrop here, I needed to have space between the backdrop and where the wires are. And so you can see I've put these spacers in here. And that also gets you out past uh, the depth of these uh, angle brackets. So it all works out pretty good. Um, I'll be screwing the backdrop into these spacers and uh, that way minimizing the number of holes going into the sheetrock wall. So what I am going to do is put this back now on uh, the tripod and show you what I have to disassemble and bring it back to this stage which will go quickly. Um, I think before I do that let me let me go down this end a minute and show you in terms of planning ahead, at, I'm going to want to put um, a, a semblance of a uh, slate pit on this end. So I wanted to go below the level of the layout. So I've planned ahead for that. And, uh, you know, I will be putting a, uh, my Benger slate scene similar to my old layout. And I'll, some point I'll show you the pictures from the old layout and see what I'm aiming for. Okay, I've uh, taken that backdrop piece off, and now I'm, nothing here is permanent, so I'm going to slide this piece of foam out. And if you recall, I was going to have a layer of foam underneath that. I'm just going to put this on the top shelf a minute. And uh, this piece is still removable as well. Yeah, put it up, and uh, the Luan base is still not tied down either. That's still removable. And so now what I'm going to do before I permanently put the backdrop on is start by put, screwing this down to the frame. And I don't have to be excessive here, probably two in the end and maybe every 18 inches put one on each side. Um, and once that's tied down, then I can put the first layer of foam back down permanently. And what I want to do is get an adhesive that will adhere the foam um, to the Luan. And you have to be careful when you go with adhesives on the foam, because among the, the various liquid nails and similar products, a lot of them will eat into foam and disintegrate it. 
So the safe one is liquid nails for projects. And uh, that one is specifically uh, good for foam board uh, as an adhesive. And it cleans up easily with water. So what I'll do is, after I get the wood on the bottom put in, I'll just come through and you know, put some S-curve kind of uh, beads of this adhesive down and then push this down, put some weight on it, and let it, uh, let it cure. And once that's done, put the top level of foam on by putting, again, some liquid nails for projects on and putting down the second layer of foam and, uh, again, putting some weight on it. And once that's all cured well, then I will uh, put the backdrop on and I can start laying track on this section uh, and on the upper one as well. I'll be doing the same thing on the upper one, um, starting down at the Luan level and then the first level and the second level of foam, have the backdrop on, and uh, off we'll go. Okay, talk to you again soon. Okay, for the last part of this uh, layout construction update, um, did what we talked about doing and uh, temporarily put up a piece of the fascia board here just to give you an idea of how that would hide the, the uh, lighting and the wiring and so forth. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for this update. And uh, I'm going to continue on the rest of the layout just putting up the uh, backdrop first. But in the meantime, I'm going to start laying out the uh, positioning for all the structures and so forth for that slate pit scene. And I'll probably do a short video just on uh, you know, how I look at putting a scene together. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for me right now because I have all the structures pre-made from uh, on my last layout. There's a combination of kits, uh, scratch-built structures, and uh, kit bash structures, and so forth. And uh, we'll just play around with uh, arranging those down the far end where the sleep pit is and uh, see how that looks. And yeah, we're almost ready to start laying track on this section and adding some scenery, which I think I'll do just to get a sense of satisfaction before I uh, move on to the rest of the, uh, the layout yet. Uh, so that's it for now. We'll talk again soon. And uh, you know, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, why don't you subscribe? All right, talk to you soon.